Weird Animals. Hello, animal lovers. We are going to learn about weird animals today. If you want to follow along with us, head over to learnbright.org to download this lesson plan. Let's start off with our friend, the axolotl. What is an axolotl? Is it a lizard? Is it a fish? An axolotl is one of the most unique amphibians in the whole world. It is a type of salamander. But unlike other salamanders, axolotls spend their entire lives in the water. They are often referred to as Mexican walking fish. Because of a rare condition called neoteny, the adult axolotl remains aquatic, in the water, and gilled instead of going through a normal amphibian cycle. As a result, the adults keep the features of tadpoles with feathery gills and long dorsal fins. What do axolotls eat? Axolotls are carnivores. They primarily eat worms, insects, crustaceans, and small fish. Axolotls were at the top of the food chain in their environment for a long time. Still, with the introduction of invasive species like perch and tilapia, they're no longer at the top. Other interesting facts. Axolotls can regenerate almost any of their body parts. For example, if the leg of an axolotl is wounded or cut off, it will form a blood clot like a scab and regrow a new leg. And scientists have also found that the axolotl can even regenerate part of its brain if it gets damaged. Why are axolotls essential to the environment? Sadly, axolotls are critically endangered, meaning their numbers are in sharp decline. There's a real threat that they may become extinct. But this only applies to wild axolotls. They thrive in captivity, so there are now more axolotls in captivity than in the wild. I I. What is an I I? The I I is the world's largest nocturnal primate. It spends 80% of the night foraging for food. I I's are about 16 inches long and covered in coarse dark brown or black fur. Their fur acts as camouflage in the dense forest. They have bulging eyes, giant ears, and a large bushy tail. Their large ears help them listen for the movement of grubs and larvae to eat. And their large eyes have a reflective layer on the back to improve their night vision. Eye eyes have teeth like rodents. Their incisor teeth grow perpetually, which means they never stop growing throughout their lives. They use their incisors to burrow through hard bark exposing grubs and insect larvae. Eye eyes also use their teeth to pry open the hard shells of coconuts and other fruits and nuts. What do eye eyes eat? Eye eyes have a unique thin middle finger. They use it to find food. For example, they tap on trees and carefully listen for the hollow sound of the grub's channels through the wood. When they hear the right sound, they use their incisors to create a small hole in the tree and then insert their specialized finger to extract or pull out the insects. The eye eye also uses this middle finger to dig the pulp out of fruit. Other interesting facts. When moving on the ground, eye eyes raise their clawed fingers. That way, they don't damage their fingers, which they use to eat. Because of this, they have a strange, clumsy gait. People think the name eye eye came from their high high vocalization when fleeing danger. And eye eyes were originally scientifically classified as rodents because their incisors grow perpetually. Why are eye eyes important to the environment? Eye eyes are important to the environment because they help disperse fruit tree seed throughout their territory. This helps regenerate forests. They are also important because they eat wood-boring beetle larvae, which could overtake the woods without a natural predator. Blobfish. What is a blobfish? Outside of the water, blobfish can look quite strange, but they look much like regular fish in the ocean's depths at 2,000 to 3,900 feet below. However, a blobfish is much different from your typical fish. It does not use a gas bladder as other fish do to create buoyancy. Buoyancy is the ability to float in a liquid. A blobfish can float like a balloon because it is made up of a gelatinous mass with a lower density than water. The blobfish also lacks any muscle. 
What do blobfish eat? Since blobfish remain almost, if not entirely, still, they have been called the sloth of the sea. Because of this, they are often referred to as a lie-in-wait predator. This means the blobfish will hang around with its mouth open and wait until anything edible floats into its jaws. Then they suck it in. Other interesting facts. The blobfish has no predators. They live so far down in the ocean that the water pressure is too intense for most predators. So they can spend their entire life peacefully sitting on the sea floor. And humans don't eat them either. Chefs don't like to cook blobfish because they don't have muscles and bones like other fish. Also, the gelatinous flesh isn't easy to cook. But those who have eaten them say they taste like lobster. Why are blobfish important to the environment? Blobfish are an endangered species. Even though these fish lay thousands of eggs, only a few of their young survive to adulthood. This low survival rate, plus overfishing and deep sea trawling, have caused the blobfish population to decline quickly. Nevertheless, blobfish are essential because they are a bottom feeder and help balance the plant matter and mollusk population. Wow. We have learned some cool facts about some strange animals. Let's review. Why are axolotls no longer at the top of the food chain? Because invasive species like to eat them. Choose the word the author would say best describes these three animals. A. Defenseless B. Venomous C. Unique D. Endangered E. Predator if you said C, unique, you are correct. True or false? Blobfish have many predators. If you said false, that's correct. Great job, friends. Remember, if you enjoyed reading along with us today, check out learnbright.org for even more interesting lesson plans. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.